Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to share with you step by step on how you can use the Cargo Collective. So when you would click here new site and you would be here on the templates, you are going to find all the possible templates that you can choose. So let's say I'm going to choose oh, this one right here. And I'm going to use this template. When you're going to use the template and you're going to see on the top right edit, I'll show you what you can do with it. So first thing first, when you're going to be here, let's go step by step and let me share with you everything. All right. Here on the top left, you are going to find the background here. You would be able to change what kind of background you want. So let's say I'm with the wallpaper. See, I have that. I can fit window, fill window, split with the page content, for example. And you see right now that it's going to be on the left side or just full. You can change the width, as you can see. And clip when scrolling. That's also what you can do. And then you can have like fit window or fill window. And that's for the wallpaper. But let's say you don't want the wallpaper. You want to try also gradient. And you have that. Or let's say you want to parallax. And look what's happening right now. So this is like really good kind of like animation there. Uh, then also the split scan. A ripple. And then let's say I'm going to even have the morph. Our pixelation. So all these you would have. And then you're going to have like a refraction, polygon and many others that you can choose, right? So that's pretty much how you can use it and what you can do with it. Here I can see the morph now. See, this is the refraction. And also the polygon, look at that. So some of these are really pretty. And this is for how it works for this, right? And I'm going to have just a wallpaper. Uh, but that's for the backdrop. So this is like the background that you can have. And of course, you're going to have settings for it. Uh, then you're going to have the flying object. So you see the flying object here. And how does it work is that you're going to have some kind of like flying object. So for example, I can have this one right here. And you're going to just paste it. And what will happen right here is that you are going to have just like a flying object across the site. Then you're going to have like the interval, the speed. And it's going always or like every eight seconds. That's for that. And then you're going to have also the clock here. So clock format preset. And then you're going to have the, the settings for it, right? You see right here. So that's for the clock settings. Then you're going to have the option to have a store. I will get to it, but then you can have the symbols here. How would it work is that let's say you're going to have the Arizona right here. And you want to add a symbol next to it. I can click like arrow or like arrow here, right? And look at that. So that's for uh, the symbols. That's pretty straightforward. Uh, then what you're going to find here is that you have always options to have some settings here for the text. So then you're going to find the marquee. What is marquee is that you have option. So let me show you. You have option to have a bounce or scroll. And you can have it vertical right now or even horizontal. And you can increase the speed. So right now you can have it to, to right or minus or to like minus. When you're going to have it minus, that means is that it's going to move to the left. When it's going to be in plus, it's going to move to the right. So that's for uh, the speed and how that works. Also, you're going to have like interaction here and friction. And of course, like you see the bounce here that is like bouncing from one side to the other. 
So that's for the marquee settings. Of course, you can have it like also here for the text. See? <clears throat> and that's for that. Now, when we are going to go further, uh, you are going to have also option to have to ballot the list. Let me show you. See? Or numbered list or a poetry. Uh, then also you can add like dividers. So let's say I'm going to enter here and I'm going to add a divider. So that's for divider. That's pretty straightforward. And then you are going to have the effects here. So this is something that you can possibly like is that on a text you can have effects. So let's say I'm going to choose the whole text and you have the option to have a rotation here, right? That let's say I'm going to have like this and then I'm going to animate it. See, and it's like rotating or to opposite side. So that's for that. Uh, then you can have the border here. That if you want to, you can have like border for it and even have a color and radius and padding. Then you are going to find a drop shadow. See that right now we have like the drop shadow for it and also blur of the drop shadow and then blink here. So it sees like fading, right? And coming back. So that's for the blink. Then you're going to have the eye roll or draggable, right? Look at that. And when I'm moving with my, with this, it's when it's like draggable, right? I hope that makes sense. So that's for the eye roll. Then you're going to have the text here. So if you want to, you can make it like, this is the standard thing where you can have like bold, uh, the italic, color right font scale align height under light even so all of that uh, then you're gonna have like the option to change here the text style Centry to let's say to middle or to left side and then also you can link it so we can link it to page or you can link it to some kind of navigation so for the previous page, for the next page and things like that. Then you're going to have the add here and I want to show you how that works. So when I'm going to click here on the right side. No, sorry. Here. Where was it? Yes, pages. So here on the text, you have the pages and I'm just going to add a new page or you can like have new set. And this is the page that we have. So what I can do here, I can add a columns. So as you can see, we have the, we had two, two columns here and you can add three, four, and then you can write into those columns, right? So let's say I'm going to add text here, or let's say I'm going to add like text, but I want to add also something from gallery. So I have the grid here, right? And then you can have also add here thumbnail index or video amped or button even. So you see right here how that works. That right now we have the gallery that you can like change the text, have a line. And this is for the columns that you can create and work with it. And of course, what you can do, you can make the columns bigger or smaller. So that's something you can do too. Uh, then you're going to have the more here. So you're going to have like horizontal rule, flying object, audio player that someone can like just press play or I can click here and have the icon clock even right here the time and lorem ipsum just the text here so that's just for what you can add here and what you're going to find here uh, then you're going to find here option to have it like how it looks on the mobile and how it looks on the PC and then you can like change the settings 
Also, you're going to find here the HTML and CSS that you can edit. And then local page settings. So I will explain local page settings right here. Okay, so you can have the width here, padding multiple. So look what happening. What is happening here? Right? Height, text align, inset. Then you can have also the page background, content background, page border. See, that's something you can have. And many other like settings here. You are going to find also options to upload a files here. So this is for uploading various files. And then you are going to find the publish settings here where you can publish it or you can make this site public or you can add a domain to it. And of course, you are going to have also option to change the favicon, add a site description, meta tags and having a contact form right here. So that's for the publishing settings and how you can like what you can find here. Then of course you have like the default page settings. This is something that we already found right here. Right. Also, you can have text styles here. So you're going to have the font size, the line height. And for every of each of these, for the text styles, you are going to find the settings here that you can change. So that's for that. And then you're going to have the site settings like image settings here, quick view settings, active link, horizontal rule. And these are just for the site settings that you can change. And you are going to find here, for example, the site border and color filter, just a lot of things that you can change. Then you are going to find here the commerce. And I don't know if I would like actually like recommend having like e-commerce store with the cargo site. I would rather go with like, let's say Shopify or Squarespace. But if you want to, you can just like edit the product, have the price here. So let's say price $50 inventory 20 weight 10. And if you have option, you can also add the product variants. like color and then you're going to add here or I'm going to have material and you can let's say gold, silver and things like that. Now I'm going to click save here and we got it. Then you're going to have like, let's say product. We have the product right here. Then you're going to have the orders here. So you can see the orders for the past 30 days and settings like the information, the shop name, email, phone, address, also the payment providers, Stripe, PayPal, shipping, taxes, and checkout customization. So here I'm going to find all the settings that you need to know, have for e-commerce if you want to use it for the cargo site. And then you see right here that in a moment when you are going to find here the products, you are going to find on the first step, you have the artistic creation. And I will show you right here. So let's go to our new page. It lagged. So here with the cargo site. you have option to add a product. So when I'm going to click on a new page and right here, I'm going to click plus, I can add a product. And as you can see, it's really just nothing. And you just have to like edit that the photo there above it. And when I'm going to click preview, someone's going to click add to cart. They are in a cart and then checkout. You're going to fill it out and things like that. So, like that's pretty much it. This is just like introduction on how we can use it and what are the what is the overview of things. I hope it provided a little bit of value. So thank you very much for watching and hope you are going to have a great day and goodbye.